Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at the modern square of opposition. It's important to note whenever I say modern, I mean Boolean logic, because Boole is the one who has created the more modern version of categorical logic, and whenever I say traditional or classical, I'm talking about Aristotle or Aristotelian categorical logic. So, we're going to be looking at the traditional version of this in a bit, but for now we're focusing on the modern version. So, in order to set up our modern square of opposition, we're going to write our four propositions A, E, I, and O, we're going to set up our Venn diagrams going around, and then we're going to put in the relationships that we learned about. The first one we had was A and O are contradictory. This is because, of course, when you overlap those Venn diagrams, the X where they're supposed to be something falls into the same area as is shaded and is telling us that there's supposed to be nothing. The same holds true for E and I statements. Then we'll fill in going around that all the other statements in relationship to each other are undetermined. Basically, we can't deduce an O from an I or an I from an O, an E from an O, or an A from an E. There's no important relationship between those statements. This may seem like a pretty simple and uninteresting square of opposition. It's useful maybe for us to remember which statements are contradictory. It's going to be much more useful when we see the traditional square of opposition, and we see that instead of being undetermined, a lot of these relationships are going to be much more interesting. But we'll get to that in a bit. Next up, we're going to be doing conversion, contraposition, and obversion. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.